Hello guys and welcome back to another Yodit campaign. I'm sorry these haven't been coming out as frequently as they should. I've been overestimating myself when it comes to streaming and recording stuff at the same time, so uh, I should manage my time better from now on and they should be more frequent as usual. So yeah, the f fourth one is called Broken Stele. And I'll say we just jump straight in. Outside the northern gate, the camels groaned irritated by the traders mounting the animals to begin the long journey back to the Ethiopian highlands. Daniel was already in the saddle, keeping a firm hand on the reins to avoid the camel from wandering off. He looked eager to return home. Drivers urged their animals forward with loud shouts and cracking whips. Slowly, the long-stretched caravan began to move. As I took my place next to my son, the sun slowly began to rise above the hills. Not far from the gate, we passed a field of great stele. Some stood tall, reaching for the sky, but most lay toppled, their pieces scattered over the ground. Father, Daniel asked, looking up at the towering stele. When we entered the city, you told me that these stones marked the graves of ancient kings. Do you think Dagnajan is buried here as well? I shook my head while answering. No, my son, those kings are long dead. Christian kings never used stele to mark their burial place. Besides, the body of Dagnajan was never recovered. His two sons were far too busy trying to slay each other. So you told me last night, Daniel replied, suddenly remembering yesterday's story. A perfect opportunity for Yodit to strike. Oh, father, tell me all about it. I shifted my weight to sit more comfortably in the saddle before beginning. While the Aksumite Empire was divided in civil war between the brothers, Yodit ordered a fleet to be built. An invading force would cross the Red Sea and strike hard at Masawa, the most important harbor of the empire. And so it begins. Let's see. No objectives. That's great. And these lands are poor and resources are scarce. Controlling some stele is a good way to secure a steady income early on. Keep at least one unit near each stele to maintain control of it. You begin the scenario in feudal age and can advance to imperial age. Destroying monasteries will allow you to loot some much needed gold. Going straight for Masawa is bound to end in disaster. It is better to gain the trust of the locals first. The scouts report our task is to force Gidajan from this land and thus open the way to Axum. You have no allies in this fight, but the locals can be persuaded to join your cause. The enemies in this area are Gidajan, has his troops stationed in Masawa from where he controls this land. Success in this mission will only come if we raise Masawa. Loyalists of Gidajan are roaming in the countryside. They are set to guard important sites. Alrighty. We are approaching Masawa. Let's seize this land for deep. Alright. Okay. Guess we're building an eco. I actually don't have my hotkey for uh, fast speed right now, so I'm gonna do it like that. Yeah, let's see here. Capture at least five stele. Destroy at least two monasteries. Visit all the local villages to befriend them. Optional, build a dock in waters to the north. Why is that optional? What am I... Uh, I guess we'll find out soon enough. I'm just gonna go in there. Start. We'll start with a los. Uh, more here. Do I have small trees mod installed at the moment? I think I might have. There's some games with rocket beans where I might have activated it and forgotten to turn it off, so... I apologize if you get turned off by the small trees. I can't tell though, I can't really tell. Could be, could be not. Well, whatever, we'll just continue. So yeah, let's see here. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna spread out. Oh, oh, oh. Why is there a random monk around converting me? 
hell? I'll send these transport ships to scout as well. But we'll keep one just in case we might need it. Well, this is sneaky. But can we actually... Oh, we can walk there anyway, I think. But it looks... Oh, can we? No, it doesn't seem our way. We might need a transport ship at least. At least one. Okay, there's uh, someone there. We'll check it out. Oh, that's a steal, eh? One camel, a few shuttles. There's a lot of enemies around early on. Not sure if I like that. wonder if we can take that. Ah, they had shuttles as well. You know me. We're gonna have a go for it. What? Where did they go? There they are. So they said you get resources from controlling Steli. Steli. Fight! Should be able to defeat these shuttles. Um, I can't really tell whether we're getting resources or not, though. Could be, could be. I don't know. We don't have to keep them nearby. As long as it's under our control, I'm sure it's fine. Two farms there. And bears, okay. We'll keep scouting. Um, I guess we're gonna end up going crossbow route once more because... That's all they have here, just a few crossbows. Might be shuttles here as well. Yep, so this was a mistake. Actually, there's not too many units. We lure them away. Well, that guy. Then we go and take this with the pikes. There's only one uh, crossbow left. That should be fine. Ah, come on! Oh, janitor. Right, now we have two still. I could, still couldn't see if we got resource or not. I kind of think we did. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Right, well, let's make a market. A blacksmith. Ah! Alright, um... And yeah, maybe we are getting resources. I feel like my food... I have a lot on food, though. Yeah, I don't know. What? I hear, I hear attacks. Okay. Oh, there's a monastery. Okay. You know what? Let's go and get some elephants. Wait, did I not make a market? What? What's this? We will fight for Yordit once you have visited all the other tribes. I have to visit all the other tribes for you to fight for me, okay. Seems kind of unnecessary, but sure, why not? I could make a dock fish a little bit as well, but I mean, I must be getting resources. I have so much food now, that has to be from... From uh, those still still eyes. Like, there was a suddenly a hundred food increase. It has to be from the still eye. Wish they would give us other resources than only food, though. That me also means I don't need this many on farms. I would say. Put more people on gold and wood. We don't need a barracks, we can go straight for ranges. Uh, let's make them over there. A little bit forward. Oh, we're actually getting a lot of gold here. A lot of food, sorry. Which in return, it's giving us a lot of gold. We keep using the market. Oh no. 
Whoa, 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 now, hey, 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 chip, whoa, 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 Oh, I was not prepared for that. Get him. Come on. Okay, we're gonna transport some guys over. They are cast stage though, so they probably only have a trap. They shouldn't have Imperial Age upgrades. At least I hope not. Come on. Yeah, we need to go and get that gold. I must say I was caught off guard by that. Not gonna lie. Alright. At least they're not attacking me. If they were attacking me, it would have been worse. This it's okay. It's okay. As long as they leave me alone. Okay, it's not okay. Towers? I don't even see villagers. Did it even. Did that just spawn in the area or what? Come on, guys, work efficiently. There we go. Oh. <laughs> That's not good, is it? I mean, they're wasting everything in the town center for now, so I mean. You know what? Let's. I hear, a I hear a trebuchet. Oh, I hear a trebuchet. They don't like hearing a trebuchet right now. I did not see this one coming, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, we're, we're not a town center anymore. Uh, we don't really have anything anymore. Right, we have three crossbows. Uh, this suddenly became quite more than I bargained for. But as long as I don't have any more units, I might be able to take this out. Get him. I wonder if they have murder holes. They probably shouldn't send bills there have they have more units. Wish I made those fishing ships now as well. Get him! Alright. This trebuchet is ballsy. Please don't attack. Okay, I mean, I think we fended off their... At least the first pressure. I don't like the tower. I'm gonna go and try and take back that stele, at least. And we'll take it from there. I'm making... What? Ah, alright. Guess we're doing a... Wait, a tower doesn't control the stele, though. So if we sneak and get, get it... They say that they bring in another set of units. Like, we should still have it now, right? Even though the tower is not enough to control possession of the Stele. Okay, 
Get him. Alright. Starting to get comfortable again. Make a siege shop here to take out the towers. But yeah, let's uh, run and grab that one as well. <sighs> what? Like this. Ooh. All right, it's all good. It's all good, guys. Relax. All right. This early game is proven to be way more challenging than I had anticipated. Yeah, I want to run and grab. Wait, they took that back? Bastards? They keep sending units as, units as well. I think I need to get more eco going. Okay, we got that back. I think I should get more Tesis going, so let's get that stone. And get the tower. We'll, oh, we have a pike there still. Not that it matters. Where? What? Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, we'll go and clean that up. <laughs> yeah, I think we're, that monster should be fairly easy to take now. Question is, where do we place our next TC? Still playing our gold on this. Um, I guess we could do a TC on these, these parts. <laughs> Gotta get rid of the crossbows, those are the dangerous ones. That one tree there is blocking us from making that TC. We'll sort that out. Okay, we have this back now. Let's go and get that back. <laughs> have the camel. Oh, I don't have ballistics. I mean, we're almost ready to click Imperial Age here. Maybe that's a better investment. They keep sending res uh, not resources, units to attack us. What? They took that back again? Well, let's go. That's why they tell you to keep a unit next to them. Maybe I'll make my own towers next to them instead. Yeah, I think we'll go Imperial Age. Just to get Ar Arbalest, for example. No, I haven't scouted much of the map or visited many of the, the people around. We'll make a stable so we can make some scouts. And move around. Make that monastery. I'm gonna rely on those Stelle for bringing me food. I assume they still do. Occasionally, at least. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's one monastery. Get all the eco upgrades. Another Stelle. Seems like Red's attacks. What? No. <laughs> What? Oh, taking on the monastery gives a thousand gold. Gotcha. Another stella. That's for wood. Ah, oh, okay. I see how it works. So there are berries around there, which means it gives us berries, uh, food probably. This one, I'm not sure. This probably gives us wood. 
Because that's what I would guess. Danger! Eh. I really want that mangonel down. Get him! Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, it seems like they're... Okay, I gotta fix this. I have so much wood now. I assume the Stellai are giving me some. What are they doing? Why are they not fighting? Okay, we have a standing army now. I'm, I think this is enough to defend. Or it should be. So I'm, I'm feeling good about this again. The other game was a little bit tricky, but... Yes, stabilized. I'm gonna check what these guys want. Uh, hello? Not saying nothing. Yeah, what about these guys? So every tribe is just like, hey, we'll join you once you have visit visited everyone. There's no actual difference. Oh shit. Oh, that's nice. They don't fight back for some reason. Never mind. Let's follow up with some forward siege workshop. And tell these guys to go and check out the rest of the map. Seems like Ida John is up this way. This sneaky guy. He's trying to make a tower on my uh, Stella. Yeah, that was a clean sweep. Ah! We gotta debate him into the... Into the TC. There you go. We almost afford a castle. Well, we can now, because I bought it. Where am I getting attacked now? Oh, we don't want to fight there yet. I assume I lost my scout then. E oh! Yeah, oh. I, I might send a few monks over here. After that. So 150 is the pop cap. By the looks of things, is there more gold on the map? Uh, I'm not seeing much more gold. Oh, there's a Stellai. Yeah, I think with that castle there and these Arbalest, we should be holding our ground. Go down here. Stella. That's the other monastery. So we have done that. Now let's uh, keep going around the map. I also want to get this Stella here. There's another one there as well. don't think I'll need these ramps anymore down here. This seems to be for stone. This is for gold. So they work like Fatoria kind of. Just better, it seems. Wait, another monastery? I'll take that thousand gold. Thank you very much. There's another one. There's one group here as well. Let's go to them and them. And I guess I'm gonna get control of them whenever I visited everyone. Which seems like kind of a waste. Oh! Boo, 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 boo. 
Seems like kind of waste because I have my arm blessed, right? Why would I want their men at arms? So I'm thinking, oh. Yeah, they're more than five. At least five, okay, so there's more than five Shtelei, probably. That's nice, we probably don't even need Vils anymore, because we're going to have so many resources now. These guys there, okay, we've been there, been there. We've been here. These should be the last ones, I would say. This land is now ours. Let us raise Masawa and drive Kidajan from this land for good. Wait, what are you saying? Destroy the market, castle, and town center in Masawa. Yeah, option to build a dock in Water Street North. I mean, I'll build a dock. I don't know why, but. So why not? Okay, so. Okay. I guess. Did we visit everyone? Was that it? Is that what we got from visiting everyone? It seems that way. I thought we were gonna get control of... Wait. They said we, they will fight for us when we visited all the tribes. You liars! They lie. Okay, now we have all the Stelai. Okay, I guess that's why we build a dock. Oh, full up with galleons. I'm not gonna say no to that. Alright, yeah, we have visited all of them. So I guess that's what we got. I was expecting to get all their spearmen and skirms. I'm kinda happy I didn't, to be honest. Alright, that's good. Let's do the tours and engines. Oh boy. I mean, if they only have these units, they're never gonna have the they're never gonna have the tech to compete with us. Might even do siege under here. Although we aren't that fat on gold, they want to do it. Right, that's good. That's good. Didn't finish it. If they bring demos here, that could actually be dangerous. So here we go. Horse and engines, SO guys. You haven't seen those in action? Their splash damage is incredible. Yeah, it looks like we have this in the bag right now. After a little bit of a rocky start. Do siege engineers. We're actually low on food. There could be something here, but I don't think there is. I think we've scattered pretty much all the map. All the map. We have a lot of monks. Okay, so destroy market, castle, and town center. Probably get to that. We have oh, a bear, a few upgrades. Guess whatever. That's all. Uh, if the opens get. 
Okay, I'll show you. Look, I'll, I'll shoot there and it should kill a lot of Arbalest still. If I shoot here. They uh, splash damage all the way there. What? Oh god! I didn't change the target fire there. That was the same. I think. They're pretty brutal. Post an engine SO. Yeah, so we're taking out the castle, we have taken out... Was there a market here? I and mean, there was a castle there, but... Not too sure. Well, look, for, I don't see another market. Could be, I mean, there's still plenty of map to go. We're trying to make a market there. We probably pick up the market. There should be only this town center left. Success! Another successful journey. Yeah, it was only a lion here. Um, yeah, I think we scouted the whole map then. This was the only army we got. Alright, I mean, it was a little bit tough with the start when they come with a treb and 20 crossbows and kept sending units. But uh, I think it's, it's the same story. Once we stabilize, that's when we like feel like, okay, we're in control. Just gotta stabilize and get past the first minutes. Once you tech into Ethiopian Arbalest, they don't have a chance. Alright, let's turn this up and listen to what he tells his son. Although Gita John had managed to kill his brother and take the throne in the meantime, he had also lost the north to Yodit. Soon she would advance to the capital for the final battle. Daniel whistled through his teeth that as he finished. That guy getting stabbed. That must have been an exciting time to be alive, father. He exclaimed in admiration. Before he could dispel his youthful naivete about warfare, shouts arose from the front of the caravan to stop for the night. Had I actually spoken for the entire day? Naivete. Ain't heard that before. Alright, beautiful KD. Micro and Ethiopian are blessed are really fun. Because they hurt so fast. They shoot so fast. Whoa, whoa, wee wah. I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> Alright, that was uh, the broken delay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Coming up will be Welcome Home, which will be the fifth. I'm not sure if that's the last Yorit campaign mission. We will see. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.